Hey everybody, you are watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today I have the Muverio 300 glasses from Epson. Epson was kind enough to send these to me, so stick around and we'll check them out. So the first question you might be asking yourself is why Epson? They make printers, right? Well, they do, but they also make video projectors. And video projectors are part of the technology that's used in here for visualization. There's several components to this. There's the glasses themselves, there's this controller, there's a couple of cables, and then there's this uh, mount that allows you to put them into the Mavic controller, Mavic transmitter, where your phone would normally go. When you're flying with these, you don't need your phone, which is actually pretty awesome. You can use your phone for other stuff because these have an Android version of DJI Go 4 built directly into this controller. Now this controller has a power button on the top, has several buttons right here on the front, a back button, a select button, and then it has a touchpad right here. Much like the DJI goggles, the touchpad on the side, this is a touchpad that you can run so that you can actually select things in the application. Now this thing runs more than just DJI Go 4. This actually runs anything that will run on Android. So there's a bunch of apps you can get for it. You can watch movies with it. You can uh, use it as a live recording device. There's a camera on the front here that you can actually wear around and record things as you're wearing it. It, it has a whole bunch of possibilities. I am gonna stick to just flying the Mavic today with it. So currently it's compatible with the Mavic Pro. I believe they're going to be making it compatible with other DJI drones in the future, but today we're gonna to be using my Mavic Pro Classic, the first one I got to, to test it out. So in order to connect it to your controller, you take it, you put it in the mount, you can see it has these four little arms that hold it in place, and then you just put it right here into the slots where your phone would normally go, and you close it down to make sure it's uh, locked in place. So let me do that. And now you can see, much like, uh, much like the, the phone would be, it's secured in this slot where the two little arms hold it in place. Next thing you'll do is you will take the uh, USB, micro USB cable, and you would plug the big end into your controller, which has a standard USB port on the bottom, like so. And then you'll take the small end and you'll plug it into the actual controller, the, um, Muverio controller. It will only go in one way, so don't force it if you're not there. And now it's connected to the controller. So then the next thing you've got to do is actually plug the glasses in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them on so that they're not, so I, so I don't have to hold them. And this has a multi-pin connector right here. And this multi-pin connector goes into the bottom of the controller, clicks in. There's two little uh, release buttons when you want to pull it out. And now you're all set. These have two prisms built into them, and it's very hard to see, but there's two prisms that you line up in front of your eyes, and then when you turn this on, this will come on, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my DJI remote as well, and now I'm actually seeing the Epson logo in those prisms. Now one really important thing, if you ever try these out, there's kind of a sweet spot where they're gonna sit on your face. If it moves slightly out of that sweet spot, sweet spot you're not gonna be able to see it as well. So just kind of jiggle them around a little bit, get them in the right place on the bridge of your nose. And when you do, the visual is pretty amazing. I right now I'm seeing the boot up screen and I'm looking over at Vinny who's filming me over there and I see him through the boot up screen. So I can see both the boot up where I'm going to DJI Go 4 and I can see Vinny through it. Now one other quick note is on a bright day like today, it's actually pretty hard to see the heads up display because of the brightness they provide you with these little clip-on sunglasses that go onto the goggles and give you more contrast. I'm gonna see if I can do this without taking them off. Uh, there we go. Now I've got more contrast between the background, which I can still see. I can still see the camera. I can still see Vinny. I can still see my drone. Um, but I can, see the, I can see the display a lot better that's being projected into these prisms. It's very difficult for me to show you that because there's just not a good way to film this. I've tried a couple of times and I could show you a few shots of what I've gotten, but um, trust me, I'm seeing everything around uh, through the sunglasses. It looks like I'm wearing pretty dark sunglasses and I'm seeing the heads up display, which is DJI Go 4 right in the middle. Now it's a fully functional version of DJI Go 4. And by that, I mean, you use this trackpad. There's a little, um, there's a little cursor that appears 
And when you tap it, I just tapped go fly. Now I'm seeing the camera view from my drone as well as uh, all my overall flight status, flight mode, compass, uh, latest firmware, etc., battery, um, number of satellites, etc. I don't need my phone. I'm seeing everything that I would normally see on the phone in the glasses right now, as well as seeing the drone. This is really huge because if you're trying to fly line of sight and you don't have a visual observer, um, you can't do both at once if you're wearing goggles that completely block your vision. But with these on, they don't completely block your vision. You can see the app, but you can also see through the app and you can also see above and below. These glasses are also pretty low profile, meaning that I can look like that and I can see the camera through here. I can look like that and I can see the camera. I can look over to the side and I can see what's going on over there. Your peripheral vision is pretty open, but your main vision straight ahead is encompassed by the display, the heads up display. And tap to focus just like you normally would and take off and fly. So again, I'm looking at the drone right now and now I'm looking at the drone through the app. So I look down like this, I can see the drone. I look up like that, I can see the drone. I look right at it, I can see the drone. But it's obscured by the app a little bit, but I can still see it. So it still meets those visual line of sight um, requirements. So if I'm gonna come over here and get a shot of Vinny, tap to focus on him. See, I can see that the drone is a safe distance from him, which is very helpful. I can see that the drone is a safe distance from me, which is also very helpful. All right, now I'm gonna go up. And in terms of latency, let's see if there's some latency. Okay, I'd say there's a probably a half second of latency. Like I move my hand and it's a half second later that I see it move. The reason I noticed that is because I could tell my mouth was slightly out of uh, sync with what I was saying. It's like a half second behind. Now one quick note about this, uh, this Mavic uh, Pro. I'm gonna bring it over here into the shot. Again, if I was wearing DJI goggles, I would not be doing that because I would be concerned about how close it is to my face. It's pretty close, but I feel comfortable because I can see it with my eyes and I can see what it sees. So this right now, this uh, drone actually has um, some modified props on it, which I'll do a different video for. I'm pretty psyched about these propellers. They give it really high visibility because of the bright orange color. And we'll bring it in for a landing here on the landing pad. And this is where these things really shine because landing in the landing pad with uh, goggles on can be challenging because you can't actually see the drone very well. But with, the, with these, I can see the drone and I can line of sight as I land without losing the app. So the Epson Muverio 300, uh, I really like it a lot. But you know what, I thought I'd take it out and let some other people try it on and see what they had to say about it. So let's go check out what some people at a drone meetup here in Austin had to say the first time they tried it on. I did not tell them much about it. I just said it was a different type of goggles and I did not coach them at all as to what to say. So here's, here's some video of that. All right, so we are here at the drone meetup in Austin, Texas at the uh, hangar offices right off the Pennybacher Bridge. And we're gonna ha have a few people try out these Epson um, Muverio glasses. So my first volunteer, what's your name again? Ravi. Ravi is going to try these out. So what's different about these is you actually can see the drone through them and you get an augmented reality experience uh, operating the drone because you see the app right in the middle. So go ahead and put them on. And as you put them on, just tell us what you think. Can you hold that? I'll hold that, yep. I can see the drone right there. Right over. <laughs> right, right. So now, Ravi, go ahead and grab the remote. So this right here is a touchpad. Oh. So you can actually do the app through using that. So you just use your thumb and you can just roll across things. I see, okay. And you see you. a cursor? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, I see the drone on the app. And this is how it augmented reality is, I guess. <laughs> So how well can you see the actual uh, 
see the actual app. I can see the app pretty well. Uh, the drone, I can see. It's a little, uh, because of the overlay, it's a little grayed out. Uh, and I like it. I like the fact that you can see through these, see the app, and uh, you just don't feel like you're um, boxed in. As I was using the goggles earlier, I just feel like I wanted to lift them a couple of times to be able to see the drone line of sight. So these make it a lot easier for line of sight, for sure. Absolutely, I see it. And uh, I can take a spot check on the drone every once in a while. Uh, keeping it line, I see the birds and <laughs> keeping them in sight as well. We don't need any bird strikes today. Oh yeah, I like these. Now, only experiencing the goggles for the first time 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, these are so much nicer. Yeah? Um, the goggles put you in a little different perspective, uh, the VR perspective. This changes it. Um, I don't feel so VR like I'm trapped, in my words, trapped um, in that experience. Uh, for somebody who gets motion sickness, which I didn't earlier, um, these do not affect me at all. They just give me the, the benefit of seeing in all directions and all visuals on the line of sight and the app and the controller, which I really appreciate. Maybe you should just leave those DJI goggles in the <laughs> box and uh, send them back or sell them. And Maybe so and try to shoot for something like this. I'm surprised how clear and crisp that is. So it doesn't bother you. Um, it doesn't bother you since you wear readers. Like, are you, you feel like you can see them well enough? I'm a, it's a little bit out of focus, but no, it's enough that I can read everything. The it seems like the extremes of the upper right, upper left, lower left, and lower right it goes a little more out of focus. That might be just my eyes for readers. And I use a low-powered reader, 1.25-ish. Okay. So it, it's not bad. They're pretty clear. Uh, normally, if I didn't have my readers on, I wouldn't be able to see any of this on the controller. So, yeah, I like it. Well, can you read the battery level on the drone? I can. It's 49%. Nice. Yeah, very nice. Very clear. Oh, yeah, this is really nice. Cool. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I can see drone. I see that it's in the grass. If I want to take off, hold on, I gotta make sure that there's no distractions. My phone was buzzing. So you understand the uh, you understand the the little um, the little touchpad. Yeah, there. the little touchpad is fairly simple. It's kind of like having a mouse cursor. Um, so if I were to take off, I'm a little bit in grass. All right. So I want to make sure. Oh, the lights help me out just because now I can tell I'm face away from myself. Oh, that is. Oh, that is interesting, especially when you're flying on the horizon of your feed, um, <laughs> because you're getting it. I get it lost in a sense. Um, but as far as framing, wow, this is gorgeous. So is it working with the glasses? Yeah, so it's working with the glasses. It sits right over mine. I'm not really uncomfortable So the nose bridge actually um, helps. Yeah, so it's like touching below my glasses. So my glasses are still seeing great, and these are just sitting at just enough perfect height that I can still see the, uh, the feed. Uh, right now, I'm looking at the trees towards the lake. And can, um, you, see, can you see line of sight, the drone? Yeah, so I can see the drone right here. It's probably like, oh, well, I can see actually what height it is. It's uh, 25 feet above me. Right now, I can see it above the tree right there. Um, sun's coming out. So if I follow it with me, I can keep my head up and kind of cruise. Oh, interesting. Got a nice little boat there for some framed up shot. Okay, so that's interesting. So now with the sun, you're kind of facing the sun Yeah, now. so I lost it just because my right eye is turned out the sun. Yeah. But I can still see feed. Um, and if I go straight to left eye, obviously it makes it a little bit easier. Or what uh, if I can we still hold up both. What if we stood over in the shade? Oh yeah, that makes the let's, obvious let's sense. See if, or if I was rocking a hat. Um, if you were so rocking was, a hat, yeah. If I was uh, keeping myself... Watch the ants there. The, yeah, terrain. So I'm making sure drone's still hovering. I don't want to lose connection being too far under it. Yeah. Or in shade. I think you'll be um, all right. But right here... Let's get a little flat. Does that help with the... Yeah, so help? this definitely helps. And then obviously if I can get myself open enough to see the tree and block the sun, or see the drone and block the sun, I can kind of keep that line of sight. Here, you want you want a hat? Is it a ready say drone hat? Oh. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Fly out while the Does that help? take off. Yeah, that actually helps out plenty. I'm curious if I were to just come right here. Yeah, this blocks the sun now. Cool. cool. Ooh. So I'm just hovering. Sun's blocked. This is actually like having a visor on the... Uh, on the uh, on the actual controller, um, there's zero glare just because the sun's perfectly blocking me right now. I'm not gonna go too far back. Just want to do a quick fly out. Very cool.
that is a success. That is fairly interesting. Um, I'm curious, especially if you were to use this on like a any sort of actual commercial thing, like if you were to do it with real estate. Yeah, or, if you could actually um, count as as a line of sight. Yeah, I mean, I think I think as long as you're standing in the right position, then yes. And then is it like do they kind of test you with like okay, if you say you can see line of sight, where's the drone right now while I'm looking at feet? It's like well, it's right there. Yeah, um, yeah. I can see right here. Um, yeah. Fairly interesting. I like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see uh, stuff. Actually, that's not bad. I can read position. Okay, actually, I can actually read What's the read battery that. level? Battery level is uh, 82%. Great. I, I think we're good to go then. Yeah. Oh, that is pretty cool. So, can you see the drone line of sight? Um, yes, I can see the drone in front of me. And I can also refocus and look through the HUD. Bridge, bridge, nope, wrong way. That is actually a really good picture. If you're looking up in light areas, you can't see it as well. So what am I looking at here? It's right above I can us. see the drone above me. And we got some video going on here. Let's go a bit higher. Yeah, and it's kind of nice because we have some clouds today. I think that yeah, actually helps. Well, that's pretty spiffy. You can see, you know, you got situational awareness around you, unless you're really super focusing on this. Am I clearing up the, clear the trees? I am. Yeah, you're above the trees. All right, so let's get some panning shots here. That is, oh wow, that's just an awesome camera in that thing too. Yeah, it looks it, it looks good. And the difference between that and the Spark because of OcuSync is huge. Yeah, yeah, that is, now I know what an extra thousand dollars would get me. <laughs> yeah. That is darn awesome. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. So, you don't have to be forced at the screen the whole time. Correct. Yeah, the latency is not bad at all. So are you using the, the downlink from the drone? Yeah, so there's a hard line uh, to the remote control and Epson developed these directly with DJI. So it's it's a Android app. Excellent. So it's basically the Android version of DJI Go 4. Yeah, it's pretty fantastic Running. actually. So now actually let, just take it up and let go of the sticks for a second. So right here is, um, that's a touch screen down, down here. Oh, okay. So so you notice when, run your finger on it, what do you see? Uh, so I see, you know, map view with a blue circle and a kind of like a mouse icon. Like a little cursor moving mm -hmm. around, right? So you can actually adjust things using that. Oh, excellent. So you don't need your phone. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so the Muverio 300 from Epson, these are really, really different and unique from anything else I've worn before. They give you that ability to have that line of sight on your drone and still see the app and not have to tie up your phone to use the app because of the touchpad. I'm a big fan. Uh, I know they will do other things besides allow you to fly drones, but the integration with DJI Go 4 is pretty seamless thanks to the fact that Epson worked with DJI. Um, I like these. I can see where as an alternative to being completely immersed and to having to have a visual observer with you, these are a great alternative if you're flying by yourself and you want to be able to fly um, line of sight and see the uh, app at the same time. And you can see the, the uh, drone's perspective in the camera, which is all really nice. Uh, I'll put some information in the description below, links to check out the specs on these things. They will do more than just drone stuff. They are designed to watch movies. They have an audio port built into the cable here so you can listen to sound. If you were watching a movie, there's a lot of other stuff they do. I just felt like it was too much to cover in this video and that most people watching it would actually just be interested in the drone part of it. I hope you like this video. If you do, please leave me a thumbs up and comment below. And if you want to know more about drones and RC stuff, please subscribe to Ready Set Drone. Thanks for watching.